Hello everybody, Kelly Driver here. Welcome to my art channel and uh, a warm welcome to you. It's great to have you along. Uh, welcome to my lounge room. I'm recording this from a different part of my house today. Um, these paintings that you see here are part of my personal collection that I did quite a few years ago before I turned my um, hobby into a career. I painted those two and these are my little seasons mini um, mini paintings which I'm quite in love with but uh, they are on my website available for sale. Anyway it's uh, fantastic to have you along today. I am doing something very special today. Uh, it's uh, a very unique project. I'm about three quarters if not more actually into the project as I'm recording this for you um, and it's been something I've been working on for quite a few sessions, quite a few days, weekends. Um, my brother asked me to um, paint a surfboard of his for him. So he's a keen surfer. Him and his wife and my uh, nieces and nephew, they live down on the, um, on the peninsula near um, where I am in Australia. In Victoria and um, he's very keen with his outdoor sports and everything and loves to go surfing so he asked me to um, paint his old surfboard he had it um, the fiberglass fixed up and had it sanded back and put into really smooth condition again it had hit a few reefs and rocks and whatnot and um, so he got it all smoothed back and then said, can you paint it for me for my wife and I to hang in our house? And I'm like, wow, what a special project, how cool. So um, I took a while to mull over it. Initially I was thinking that I'd do a, um, a, a wave kind of painting on it and so that he could hang it lengthways in his house. But um, then I decided that that was a bit too cliche and I decided I didn't want to do that. And I wanted to do something that I really felt represented my brother. His name is Mark. What you're going to see is me painting the surfboard over many different sessions, over different days. It's got lots of layers in the painting. Um, as the creative flow kept happening within me and um, I wanted to build on top of the, um, the layers. And so I've created, I am creating a beautiful abstract piece that I feel symbolizes my brother. Um, he's picked on some of the favorite colors in it. Um, I've also tried to incorporate his lovely wife, um, Kate, my sister-in-law, into this process as well, um, with elements of her in there, but it is mainly something for my brother. And um, it's a really lovely opportunity for me to, um, to um, try and um, show my brother in a painting through um, different um, things. So anyway, you'll see a lot of his favorite colors, um, some of the things, um, some representations in there and all sorts of things. So anyway, come with me on this journey. Let's see um, how it unfolds and have some fun.
Okay, it's finally time for the lion. So, um, very excited about putting this lion on. I've been waiting weeks to do this. Now, this is a gel medium, which dries transparent, but you have to work quite quickly with it or it starts to set. So I've got to put the medium on, then the paint on, and then take it off as carefully and um, as neatly as possible. Now the last time I did a stencil was the mandala on the um, Billy Loves Blue painting and um, it was absolutely fantastic, the mandala. I was so happy with it. And uh, the painting has since sold. After sitting around for a long time, I put the mandala on it and it sells. Now I'm going to put this beautiful Payne's Grey on this side of the lion with copper. So I will put the Payne's Grey on first. You can see the lion's nose is just there. Right, I better peel it off before um, it dries. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous right now. I'm so nervous. So I'm really not sure what I think right now. I'm not getting the big wow factor from it that I thought that I would. Um, so I'm not sure if I have, um, I haven't done anything wrong. It's, uh, the stencil has turned out just the way it was meant to, uh, but it's just not as, it's just not as dramatic as I thought it was going to be. Okay, I'm happy with it. It's going to be okay. It's going to be, it's definitely going to be okay. I think I thought it was going to be um, fuller than it was, more colour. But the background is more present than I was um, expecting. And that's okay, that's fine. Right, so now it's time to do my mandala flower. Um, so that's I think it was I think it was called a dahlia flower um, when I bought it. This is the first time I've used this mandala, this flower stencil. 
Uh, so I'll first of all apply the gel medium. So there's not much of a border on this stencil, so it's a little bit tricky, uh, but we will give it, um, I'll give it my best shot. Now, as you would remember from watching my previous stencil, or if you like watching Olga Sobi, who is um, a big fan of stencils at the moment, you have to work quite quickly when you're dealing with a gel medium. And I have to be very careful that it doesn't lift up as I'm applying the gel medium because I, that will mess up the, uh, what happens underneath with the beautiful pattern. Okay, so I want my main colour to be I still haven't decided. I think I want my main colour to be orange and then touches of purple, uh, magenta, and I've got some fluorescent colours, uh, not fluorescent, iridescent colours to add in as well. So I'll have to be very careful when I put the um, purple on that I don't get um, the purple and the orange mixing together because that will make um, mud but if I just carefully apply it I should be fine making sure that I um, clean my palette knife so that I don't accidentally um, mix the orange and the purple together. Now I'll put some touches of the other colours on top and then we will be ready to peel it off. So we'll just put a bit more magenta touches in the centre. And we'll put on some iridescent orange yellow and iridescent red purple right it's time to peel it off okay tidying up to do down the bottom there just got to um, it merged together a little bit so I will separate these little bits here and I think that's pretty pretty awesome I'm now going to put on my peacock feather in this spot here so it's been um, a few days since I did the lion and the um, mandala flower now and uh, I've been working at my other job <laughs> and now I'm back having another go again at um, on the surfboard so I wish I could work on this every day but um, I still have to do my other job. Now, my plan is with this is to, um, I'm going to do some olive green in the centre. So that's a new colour that I'm introducing here. Because I want this to try and um, represent the colours of a peacock rather than um, the other things which I've kind of just made up as I've been going along. So. I'm going to be quite strategic here. I'm not sure why I want it. I think because the peacock colours are match what I'm doing here, I think that's why I want to do that. So just a little bit of the olive, deep olive green. And I'm going to put this beautiful ultramarine blue in the centre of the
Pulgarita más cerca y estira bien. Not turquoise green. I'm going to do turquoise blue because I've already used turquoise blue. Turquoise green would be introducing a new color, so I don't really want to do that at this point. Okay, and then the tips of the feathers I'm going to do in this um, beautiful bright green color, um, yellowish green. Now the last thing I want to do on here is a few touches of um, iridescent colours on the feather tips. So we'll just do some touches of um, iridescent green. And some touches of iridescent green blue. Lovely, lovely. Of course, the good thing about these stencils is if, um, if I'm not happy with something when I take it off, I can um, paint it once it's dry. So that's good. All right, now we'll peel off the little bits of tape on this side, first of all. Lovely, very delicate, lovely. I'll have to do a little, a couple of little touch-ups on there, that's all right. That's nice. That's great. Okay, I'm going to work a little bit on this one here. I'm going to, with the paintbrush, I'm going to even up the gold to make that flow around, like almost like a halo kind of thing, the way that, um, but obviously not with the um, usual colours. And I'm going to fill in the iridescent um, blue-green parts on there with the um, Prussian blue to try and give a bit more colour differentiation. I think it's better if the Prussian blue is on the inner um, and the iridescent blue green on the outer. So I'm going to focus on that now.
this um, peacock feather here didn't show up at all um, once it was dry using ultramarine. Um, it was a bit silly on me really now that I look ultramarine is a transparent color but um, yeah on the dark base it didn't show up at all so I tried mixing the two turquoise and um, ultramarine together and I got um, I got this color here but I don't really like it I don't really like it so I think I'm gonna I haven't decided whether to use um, more of um, so the color here is the um, sapphire and I don't know whether to use the sapphire or which is also in my details there don't know whether to use the sapphire um, or whether to use the turquoise but I'm not using that so let's see what I decide to do hmm maybe I'll do a little bit of the turquoise because I don't I think I've got too many um, shiny colors on there and I don't want it to look tizzy so I think I'll do highlights with this and stick with the turquoise so I'll um, paint paint over the top of this now Here is the surfboard in its entirety on my couch because it's the only place I've got that's big enough to, <laughs> to hold it. So let's have a little look at some details. We have our first peacock feather over here on this end of the surfboard with the lovely blending and the decorative um, little features up the top here which could be fairy lights or leaves whatever you want them to be and the nice um, details down the bottom here with the lovely blending here is the dahlia dahlia flower that's to symbolize kate another peacock feather here and more of the little decorative leaves along the top there and then over here we have our final peacock feather this one in the gold Prussian blue and um, iridescent blue so that one's super pretty as well it's all varnished in a lovely satin varnish and the piece de resistance our lion with uh, beautiful details here. So you can see on the left side of the lion, it's in copper gold and Payne's gray. Beautiful features there, so much brilliance to it. And then on the right, I added a lot more color in from the initial um, stencil, how I painted it. I uh, 
decided to make each one of those flowers a different color, orange, violet, magenta, and yellow flowers to make up the lion's face. So I reckon it's um, so cool. <laughs> so cool, the lion's face is just fantastic. So I have named, I have named the painting um, a proverb that I found. A lion sleeps inside the heart of every brave man. And when I, when I found this stencil on the mixed media store website in Australia, I immediately thought, oh, that's my brother Mark. Not sure why, but just with his life, he's very brave with the things that he does, um, especially in his work and also in his hobbies. He's very brave. So it seemed very fitting to me to have the lion represent him. And then when I found this um, proverb, Turkish proverb, don't know who said it or what it, but it seemed very fitting to me. So anyway, here we have it, my beautiful surfboard art, a definitely a unique experience, one I'm very pleased that I have had the opportunity to do. And I am looking forward this weekend to delivering it to Mark and Kate and seeing what they think. And hopefully you'll get a good reaction from them. So I will post this video online um, after I have given it to them and so that there's no, um, they don't accidentally see it before I have um, finished. It's all a wonderful surprise. Thanks so much for watching everybody and I will see you next time. Bye for now.